what is the proper way to strap a flatbed semi truck? Just do it. Do We're gonna watch LaShawn strap today and see if he does it correctly. And I'm gonna critique him to see if he does it right. I don't think he's gonna do it right. Most guys don't know how to properly secure or strap in flatbed, but today we're gonna find out. Uh, throw the strap in, uh... Do you do a DOT rap on the strap? Nah, bro. You gonna show us? I'm gonna show you. And this hey. is this is the way that it has to be done in flatbed. It's the American way. It's the American way. If you were wondering how to strap the truck down, we're gonna teach you today. Let me know when you're ready. We're ready. All right. Welcome to Trucking with LoShawn Parks. You guys could have been anywhere else I'm in the world, done. but you're here with me. And I'm going to show you guys how we're going to uh, properly secure these transformers, a.k.a. known as what, TB? Transformers? No, that's not what you said earlier. I don't remember what you're talking Condom about. Conduit, something like that? I don't remember that. You're a liar. All right. I know they're not a generator like you thought. Right. So we can't go over the top. We cannot go over the top of these transformers with straps. We have to come over the top of the wood. So each part right here, that's where we're gonna be throwing a strap at. So we're gonna put two straps over each transformer, which is gonna give us a total of two, four, six, eight, ten, about twelve straps. All right. So uh, let's get started. Yeah. You're counting out your securement before you pull them out. Six. That is correct. I need twelve straps. Seven. I need to organize that a little bit better. Let me show you how to utilize what the tool What is today. that? This is for that. This gives it a tighter grip. As you guys can see the demonstration in there. What you do is you put it in there. It's better, it gives a tighter grip or a tighter lock on there better than what your actual hand can do. Really? Yeah. Well, good night tight. We just plugged them. I've never heard of this product. We are not sponsored from them at all. But you they make can holler at us for real. You can holler at us. We're going to test them out today and use them on camera. Good show. Ready? Bills. 31,000 pounds. You riding, you riding heavy. I'm going to hold the hook down like such. Grab it here. And it depends on how high the point. I'm going to throw it up. In a, in a kind of like if you're playing baseball and you're in the outfield, you want to throw up motion. So, but I'm not going that far across. So here I'm just going to throw the cross. Bam! Gonna do strap in. To the strap to the trailer. Yeah. So this is how I like to do my strap. Okay. So the DOT way that they say a DOT wrap is like this. Okay. This is the DOT wrap. Come across it. Come up underneath it. Bam, that's DOT wrap. I've explained this in one of my videos already. I don't like this form because still at the end of the day, if you rub across something and it rips this strap apart, so this comes out, strap is loose, this part right here falls to the, well, it doesn't fall to the ground, but it stays here, but then your strap is cut, right? Mm -hmm. So now the strap is not secured any longer because if something comes across this that's really sharp and cuts this, now the strap is just loose. The way that I'm about to show you, but I like to do it, the strap doesn't get cut. Come here, come down, Right here. If something hits your rail that's sharp, it's hitting metal. It's not cutting my strap, ever. All right, so that's the way I like to do it. Mm -hmm. That's not the DOT wrap, but I don't like the DOT wrap because I feel like with the DOT wrap, it's still unsecured because if something hits it and cuts it, it's a wrap. Cool. Here is the tie down portion. What I'm gonna do is we do these straps without a twist in them because they're not up in the air, so we're not really worried about these straps buzzing. Okay, that's the reason why you put a twist in straps when you're taking it over higher commodity. It's because you want to stop the friction. That's what it does. It shakes yeah, in the okay. wind. Yeah, okay. I was like, what are you doing? But yeah, that's what you do. It stops the friction, stops the buzzing. So we don't need it because these are not elevated into the air. We're not going over the top of the commodity. So we're going to go straight down with them. Come with it. What you do is, what I like to do, this is how I do it. I walk back with the strap.
grab the, the end of it like such, pretty much walk it back in, keeping it, keeping it straight. Don't put no twist in it. That's how you do straight fold. No twist in it, just walk it back. All right? Walk it back. You want to make sure that if this side doesn't have the, the orange line on it, then you want to insert this side with the orange line showing up towards you, okay? All right, that's, that's an easy way for you to remember if you got the, the method right. All right, put it in here like such. Start turning. Give it a couple of turns. Stop. Make sure it's locked in place. Get the slack out of there. Turn it some more. Right, a couple more turns. Up. Turn it in. Stop. Slack out of it. Some more rotations. You're going to see, you see how I just... Did that little fold like that because it was coming up like this. So you're like, oh no, it's about to twist. Now all you gotta do is fold it out. Keep turning. Come down with a little bit more to the point where your hand tight. Now it's ready for. And you under the rail. And I'm under the rail, right. Now I'm, I'm under the rail, not over the rail. Okay, I see drivers, drivers who be having over the rail. They say it's not illegal anymore. It used to be illegal. I still don't think that's a safe way because once again, it goes back to if something side swipes you, your strap is cut. So this way, something side swipes you, your strap is still in safe. All right. So now all we need is the the what I call the handbar. What they technically call it. We got chewed up about that. Right. Remember the tightening bar. That's the tight bar. I could yeah. call it the hand bar. It was like, yeah. oh, it's really called a tight bar. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the tight bar then. Okay. That's what that's what you use it for now. Bam. Get out of my this is how Trucker Brown does it. I do the fold method. Okay? I don't do this roll up way like this because I feel like this thing gives play. I don't really like it, but it comes up to you. You got two ways you can do it. You can do it the fold secure method, melting truck lines, where I learned that. Or you can do the prime way, the wrong way. We are going to try out the good and tight tool. Y'all send this to them. Follow them on Facebook and send it to them. Tell them to know Trucker Brown is trying out your product. We'd like to hear more about it. Good night. We'd like to hear more about it. Good and tight. He is using a ratchet binder now. So you just see how I just did that twist right there, young boy? Mm -hmm. I did a twist. Yeah. So that way when it goes up, you snap it back. Mm -hmm. Snap it back. You know what I'm talking about? Okay. That's what I got to do. Okay, you can't come well, like this. You can't go before. Someone could have told you you could have ran the buckle a certain way where it'd be like that already. You don't have to do that. Actually, what you do is you have to take these screws out right here and reverse it. But I don't got the tool to take this off. So you're just twisting them? Yeah, so I just do a twist. Okay. Just want to do it the wrong way. I get it. Right, right, right. I understand. You're trying to help him out, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Like the bitch <laughs> right? You're going to help him out, right? Oh, he was unloading. Who? Oh boy, he was unloading. He's already done. I thought he was loading. Hmm. And that that cartoon is not allowed on TV now because wow. it's very inappropriate. Because he says pepper, right? Oh, Tom and Jerry's not even allowed on TV anymore. Actually, Tom and Jerry's still on TV. I watch it every day. Thanks for asking. When? How you watch Tom and Jerry every day, Lo? You just be lying, dog. Don't ask me no questions when I'm working. Indicated we don't need to put a whole lot of this strap, man. I hate this. Thing. You don't like how it feels? No, I don't like it because the way they put it in, where you, where you set it in. You wanted it to tuck in. Yeah, because, like, dog, like, I can't get this as tight as I want to get it because you put it right here next to my, my wheel. Ain't no going under this thing either because it's so close. Be fine. It's only four thousand pounds. You got fifty. You know, you got eleven thousand worth of securement on. Even though we don't need to use it, we would like for you to give us a demonstration on this.
All right, so this is the good and tight. Uh, I purchased this at the TA, um, excuse me, I purchased this at the Chrome Shop Iowa 80 in Kenley, North Carolina. You pretty much can get these from any of the Iowa 80s that are at uh, out here on the road. And what it is, it's called the good and tight. And the good and tight handle is a mechanical aid that makes proper tension of two to three and four inch ratchet. It, right probably, it probably reduces the chance that you hurt your arm right, or shoulder or something. Arm. So the way that it's supposed to go, according to on this, it's supposed to flip around this side. This is supposed to hook to this handle like such. And then basically, you get, you get more leverage. Extra leverage that you may need. Does it help? Yeah, it did. <laughs> really did this thing is this thing is all right so you know what you can or your strength that you might not be able to do you got something that can get up under that grip and come on back down so hey good well worth it i think it was like don't quote me maybe 24 maybe anywhere from 25 to 35 dollars well worth it though good and tight get at us everybody send this to good and tight's facebook send it to whatever way email it to them and everything let them know tbytta is liking this product Conclusion of this, we got it all done Pretty sure at this point in time, this is when TB is probably going to do a pan shot of the whole thing while I'm speaking right now. Uh, so you guys can show you guys exactly what the load looks like. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, securement video. If you do, make sure you hit the thumbs up, likes up, whatever. You know, make sure that you also do subscribe to both channels. My channel, which is Trucking with LaShawn Parks. And also make sure that you subscribe to Trucker Brown's channel if you haven't done so already. Until the next video, to the next securement one, you guys be safe. As always, winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners. And they focusing on YTTA all day. Back. Anyway, also go to Instagram, okay? I'm on Instagram. It's at Trucker Brown. Follow, follow, follow. Also, this video will first be seen on Patreon. Patreon link on that iCard up to the top. And when you watch these videos, y'all want to check that iCard because there's all type of stuff up there. And hit the bell if you subscribe so you can get a notification that we're on. Bang! Balsa YTTA, the only big boy you know in the game.